So what are you trying to do with your homeschool? I've kind of been uh, on the sidelines for eh, the summer, new baby and grandbaby, and um, really doing some rethinking about what my focus needs to be concerning homeschool. There are a lot of things I'm involved with uh, in terms of um, communication, in terms of uh, church, uh, in terms of uh, business systems and coaching and mentoring. But I, I really have a heart for educating kids. And, uh, well, really, <laughs> educating everybody, but uh, children uh, in particular. And as you may or may not know, we educated our five from the ages of birth to college. They have all done very well intellectually and academically. And as I've thought that through, I developed these courses, starting with the writing course, but there's one on reading comprehension, and one on memory, one on relationships, uh, a variety of themes that as we looked at in our lives were the things we tried to teach our kids. And we turned that into a college ready because in our conviction or my conviction, getting them ready for college so they wouldn't be manipulated by college and getting them ready so they could actually study and learn. Getting them ready so they could study and learn and support themselves through college because I didn't have the means of pulling it off for five kids uh, having been uh, in the ministry all those years. So, I mean, I don't know if you know about ministry, but maybe a few on TV, but most of us, it's kind of uh, uh, the way churches think, you know, Lord, if... Uh, if you'll keep him humble, we'll keep him poor. And I'm grateful for where I've served and, and all that, but it just wouldn't sustain sending five kids to college. So my thought was college ready. As I'm reflecting on that from a branding viewpoint, like how do I get my message across and how do I really serve people, I'm really convinced that that's not communicating what I was up to. Uh, what Jody and I were up to. What we were actually up to is creating self-teachers or self-learners or people that know how to teach themselves. And as I wrestle with that term, what I think it comes down to is an independent learner. And in that regard, it's an independent homeschool. And what I mean by that is you want to, in my conviction, grow students who can think independently, who can uh, formulate their own understanding, who can independently go and begin to grab information in terms of books and audios and videos and whatever is out there, conversations, Socratic conversations with people. And those independent individuals are the ones who actually, I think, are best protected in this crazy world and are in the best position for personal fulfillment because they're going to have some freedom and they're in the best position, and honestly, this is what I care about more. They're going to be in a position to impact this world. You know, right now, we're seeing in my lifetime an unprecedented limbing effect in play where everybody's just falling around in their identity politics some group or something and and they're not critically thinking they look at it their cause is right therefore anything different than that is evil their candidate is right and so the other guy is a hundred percent wrong and this kind of what they call in psychology splitting, this all or nothing thinking, this black and white thinking, um, is not what goes into learning. It goes into what I would call indoctrination. And, you know, just to be frank, a lot of what happens in education is indoctrination. 
Uh, it can be in mass education. It could be in private schools. It can be at colleges, universities. And all I can tell you is that uh, indoctrination is when they're forcing their views on you, subtly or not so subtly, rather than engaged in what university should be, which is a discussion. Uh, but you can do that too. You can buy curriculum, uh, curricula, different ones. And in doing that, you can find doctrines that are indoctrinating your child. Now, look, we want to teach them a worldview. We want to teach them a way to look at things. Whether they hold on to it or not, who knows. But that gives them a frame of reference for the conversation. You're just dishonest when you don't teach them what you believe about religious things or political things or whatever. <clears throat> You're also manipulative if you th force them to have to buy into uh, what you uh, groove on. Look, hopefully they do buy in. In our experience, our kids went, um, uh, four of the five went to extremely, an extremely liberal university in the University of Texas. And they all escaped, I would say, being uh, far more conservative than uh, certainly the University of Texas would like them to be. But, but I, I'm not even sure conservative is the right word. Uh, they are certainly all active in their churches. They're all uh, believers. But they are all prone to try to think for themselves and try to understand things rationally and logically and what the real facts are before them. That's what I mean by this independent homeschool. And so you as a family, it's not that you're separated and isolated, but, but your, your orientation is to function independently. And all the materials that we've put together, uh, those materials are about that, about how you set up systems and how you approach thinking about family and parenting and all these subjects that we teach. You know, how to run your emotions. I mean, that course by itself should be a whole industry standard because if your kids can learn how to run their brains and so run their emotions, then guess what? They can be independent. They're not caught in the manipulation the same way that uh, that's out there in this world. So anyway, you're going to be hearing more about this and uh, going to switch this brand around. Love a comment below with what you think of of what I'm trying to say here. If there's a box below there to uh, to comment, uh, we're certainly available to interact and discuss. And and our our focus is going to shift a little to mentoring. And what we want to do is find and mentor people who are interested in growing independent, educated uh, students. This independent homeschool is going to be, uh, I think, the right path, not only for us, but for those who want to join with us in trying to uh, make sense of how to prepare kids for a challenging world. I hope that helps.